gosh, you know, it was a, it was a surprise, but not like a, a big one. It was really sad. It, it did, did not come as a surprise. The reality of the first presidential ticket since 1976 not to include a Clinton, Bush, or Biden is settling in among local leaders. State Representative Regina Goodwin is already state senator-elect and will vote on the next nominee for president at next month's Democratic National Convention in Chicago as an elected delegate. She now finds herself following the president's endorsement of Vice President Kamala Harris. She has served uh, admirably. She's extremely capable, and who better to serve now as president? Fellow State House Democrat Melissa Provenzano did not publicly want Biden to drop out either and expressed gratitude. Putting our economy back on track, for calming and stabilizing the country after January 6th, and for putting the pieces in place to um, to move forward after the COVID pandemic. The Tulsa County Republican Party is shaking off the news and still views former President Trump as the clear front runner. I feel that Trump can take on any candidate that the Democrats can put forward and beat them. Beat them. And so we're really looking forward to November, whoever the candidate is. While admittedly it is too early to know for sure, some local Democrats do hold on to hope that the switch to Vice President Harris as the nominee will spur some new life and energy to motivate voters even here in green country. Hoping that voter engagement uh, will be at an all time high because it should be. It's, you know, it's our civic duty to head to the polls. Um, we have elections in August. We have elections in November here in the Tulsa area. Goodwin says that should already be the case. We as Americans cannot forget what we are up against when it comes to preserving democracy saving democracy. Meanwhile, Oklahoma and much of Tulsa County remains historically red. Party Chair Rhonda Vuemont Smith says GOP candidates will have the upper hand come November to keep it that way. I'm feeling really good about it. Listen, these are Democrat policies that have got us in the place that we are today. Um, and I think people have seen a difference as far as what the way the Republicans Republicans lead and the Democrats lead. In Tulsa County, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.